that silly eagle eating dirt. Again, you know, talking about you know kids in school, I, I think it's a real, I think it's a real disservice if I go to a classroom or talk to any group, if I come up and introduce this eagle to not as the American bald eagle, but as Harvey the bald eagle. It sounds really kind of silly. You know, I don't understand why people have to give human names to wild animals. So I, I've never named them, uh, with one or two exceptions, which I got uh, had no no say in the matter. Birds that were given names. But usually, the bird doesn't have a name at all. So, uh, by naming an eagle, I think you put it in a different category. You, you take it from the realm of a, a wild creature to some, some kind of a sideshow pet. So, I, I really don't, don't name them. Well, he's really and, into and, this. And is that just for eagles? Or? No, all, all my birds. I don't name any, any of the birds. Come on, give me that. No, don't you do that. Oh, she bites. I got a few. But a beak is like a razor blade. Maybe she wants to play ball with me. Watch. Show them how you retrieve. Come on, bring it back here. Hey, bring it back. Oh, you little traitor. <laughs> but early spring, unbelievable. How she just rips everything. How she rips everything up. Uh, eagles are real hard to work with. Because of their size and their uh, uh, their personality, they're real aggressive by nature. And you know, <laughs> to work with a ball, uh, the golden eagle is not as bad, but the bald eagle's got a real nasty disposition. So you know, you work with an eagle like this to get him to this point. To, oh boy, let me tell you, a lot of time, a lot of patience to get this eagle just to go to this point. And I'll guarantee uh, that. You know, when you get to a bird to this point, the handling of that bird is probably the only one that can touch her. She's very aggressive to strangers. And usually when I'm standing right to the group, she'll come right in front of me and watch the people. But right now she's more interested in, in the, the grass and the glove, I guess. And you're never getting, like, love back. Yeah. So uh, will, you, will you breed her? Or? I'm going to try, next year I'm going to try insemination with this bird. But I've got two, if I knew my two pairs weren't going to produce this year, I would have probably worked there. She laid two eggs this year, uh, in of course, infertile eggs. So next year I might try an in, artificial insemination with her if my other two birds don't uh, don't produce. So, but right now I, I handle sorry. her so much, taking her in and out of the truck to classes and different places, that uh, she really don't have time to, to build a nest. That's why she's kind of frustrated. Everywhere I put her, she, she's the nest builder. Excuse me? Good question. How long do they live? Uh, eagles have been known to live 30, 40, 50 years. I've got a, one of my eagles down here is 32 years old. Oh. But in the wild, maybe half of that, you know, in the environment. You know, so many man-made problems and, and different things, so I don't think the lifespan would be uh, as long. Okay, any, any other questions about her? Oh. You might have noticed uh, sometimes when she blinks, her eye gets kind of blue. Well, birds can blink from the top down. Eyelid goes from the top down, and they've got an eyelid that goes from the bottom up when they're sleeping. And then they've got a third eyelid called a nictitating membrane, uh, which flashes across the eye. So if this bird is bathing or she crashes into the grass to catch an animal, that little piece of skin automatically goes over the eye. It's like a protection to protect that bird uh, from any, any uh, possible injury. Okay, let's go have a look at this guy. This is 